Hello everybody, this is DJ Freddy with the DJ Riz Entertainment team and I'm here with the one and only DJ Riz himself. Hashtag Dre Talks. Dre Talks. The like, I was thinking like we don't get to sit together and talk this much and we're doing it during the coronavirus outbreak which is probably not the best great. time. Which is great. Cheers well, to that. It's not the best time but you know what? We thought this was important. Yep. We want to get in front of people. Everybody's at home right now and while you're at home you're doing some unhealthy things. <laughs> right? So many, many unhealthy things. I know uh, I'm definitely doing it. Freddie's probably not doing as many. Or... I probably am. So we, we just thought about, let's all get together and let's talk about ways that you can be healthy at home. Yep. So Freddie actually came up with a list of five things that you can do to stay healthy while you're at home. So five ways to stay healthy at home. Okay. First one, water. Mm -hmm. okay. The more you stay hydrated from your skin to your hair to your organs, um, uh, I, you know, right after fast cardio, and as as for the previous video, we spoke about fast cardio. I usually take water as my first intake right after fast cardio because that just wakes up my organs. Okay. okay. How much water should someone have? So I, I drink close to a gallon. Okay. Uh, some folks like to measure by the bottle. I like the bigger jug so I can see where I'm at during the day. Let's talk about your second tip. Yep. Which is meal preps, right? Meal preps. How important are meal preps? What do you do to meal prep? What should everybody do to meal prep so let me break those words down sure. meal prep reverse it. reverse it if you're not preparing your meals mm -hmm. <laughs> you're failing okay. so the key to this is preparing your meals prior so you don't have to think about it proportions of protein carbs and fat so for breakfast if you can tolerate eggs you have maybe two or three eggs uh the yolk a little bit more cholesterol i stick to egg whites you can make an omelet you can boil your eggs you can scramble it um, um, I make protein pancakes with my eggs, which is egg whites, and I and I uh, take two scoops of protein uh, isolate powder, okay. chocolate. I love chocolate. Mix it all together, it becomes a batter, and I cook it like I would cook a pancake with some pan oil. So that's kind of how I. You have to get creative with with your meal okay. prep. But but boiled eggs, how many should you eat, and should you or should you not eat the yolk? Um, I eat about seven eggs a day. Two of them are whole. That's it? Just seven? No, no, no. Uh, a day for breakfast. <laughs> for breakfast. Okay. Seven eggs a day. I was joking. Yeah, I seven, I was <laughs> okay. seven eggs a day for breakfast. Uh, five egg whites, two whole eggs. That's kind of what I consume for my body weight. Um, so folks that are looking to, you know, high protein diet is definitely a key to fat burning. Okay. So increase your protein as you go. So Whatever you can tolerate. Right? Absolutely. So, but we're, we're out here talking about like couples that are preparing for their wedding. 2020 and 2021. Bride and grooms that want to stay healthy, they're home right now. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to increase their water intake. They're going to figure out meal prep. One great way, like you said, for meal prep is, is eggs in the morning. Like salt, pepper is okay. Salt, like, pepper is always okay. What's not okay? Like what should you avoid or minimize? Like ketchup or hot sauce or any kind of sauce? Is that bad? Let me flip that. So what can you add that tastes good? Okay. okay. Anything that has zero calories on it. Which is what? So my go-to is a label called Frank's Buffalo Hot Sauce. Okay. okay. It tastes like wing sauce. Okay. Zero calories on the back of it. My next go-to are any of the dry seasonings from Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Again, I find these um, these hacks because I've been dieting for so long. Are most hot sauce? Nah, no, no. Sriracha is always is all one of my favorites, but it has sugars, it has carbs in there. Okay. But Frank's Hot Sauce, I mean, there are a lot of sugar-free, all that good stuff there, but... My go-to is Frank's. I mean, Louisiana hot sauce is also zero calories. I don't like Louisiana. The taste. Yeah, yeah. I like Frank's hot. I like the buffalo taste. What about Tabasco? Do you know? Tabasco works as well. It's zero. Is zero? Yeah, okay. zero. Okay. zero. So most hot sauces uh, that derive their, their spiciness from jal jalapenos or niacin, which is also in Cheetos, anything that burns or speeds up your metabolism is also a, a fat burner, a healthy fat burner. So and you can eat flaming Cheetos. No, day. don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. You can might you might have a few. Okay. But uh, we'll get to that. Later. Yeah, we'll get to that. Later. But in general, if you have an option of having rice or any kind of bread, you should probably stick to rice. Rice. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. I learned something. Yes. No wonder I don't like eating rice. Yeah. Everybody loves bread. Yeah. Rice is rice is king. Rice okay. is king. Rice right. is king. So I thought so, cash was king. Cash is another type of king. Okay. Like a different kingdom. Got it. Yeah. 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 All right. Right. But I'm assuming. Because we're talking about couples and people that are home that aren't able to go out and work out and eat maybe as healthy as yep. they want. So we'll, we'll, let's talk about cutting. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to cut, then the order is chicken, fish, shrimp, and then steak. Steak, yep. Right? Yep, okay. yep, yep, yep. Okay, great. That's probably the best. So we have one of those. What amount is normal? 
Um, so anywhere between four to six ounces is a meal uh, that is served. If I'm having six ounces of protein, my carbs are minus two. Okay. So six ounces of protein. So six ounces of chicken, for example, four ounces of white rice, four ounces of vegetables. Can you tell uh, people like what are good options as vegetables? So broccoli, asparagus, green beans, cucumbers. Um, what else? Spinach, right? Uh, now, in this category of green vegetables, we also have some that are called superfoods, zero calorie foods like cucumbers. I, I'm a huge fan of cucumbers, especially living in Texas. If you're in a hot state, you want to have vegetables that keep the internal body temperature cool. When you come home past 6, 6, 30, 7 p.m., you're stagnant, you're at home. Make your large salad, like a huge bowl uh, salad, uh, about maybe even 10 ounces of spinach, carrots, uh, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, whatever. I mean, go crazy, right? And okay. then have your protein there as well. This is where you can do the boiled eggs that are cut up, you know, the fancy Caesar salads. No dressing, I don't, I don't like dressing. But but we're getting rid of the, the carbs. The carbs. Yep. Okay, so For those that are, are trying to obviously lose the weight. So what, what is the amount of meat? Is it still six ounces? I would keep it the same. Okay, so same portion for lunch and dinner on the yep. meat, and then just increase the, the veggie or something else to eat the meat with, which mm -hmm. in this case is salad. salad. Okay, okay, now let's talk about the next tip, which is um, grocery shopping, right? Okay. So while you're grocery shopping, what are things... Let's start with what you should buy. Let's start with that. So what, what are things when you're going to the store... What should you buy? What should you look to purchase? So you buy everything we just spoke about, which is the meal prep that you are going to consume. Whether okay. it's your, for you, your significant other, your kids, your family, buy exactly what is needed. Don't buy too much. Buy it in proportions because your body's also adjusting to the taste. Okay. You either like it or you don't like it. You might want to change the next day. So buy your, your meats, your veggies, your fruits. Uh, uh, water, all that good stuff. Uh, items. So one thing that uh, when people are grocery shopping, they probably spend a lot of time, maybe effort, definitely money on is snacks. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about snacks? Normal people at home, should they be eight, having six meals? Eight, or should, like, 8 a.m., okay. 12, 8 p.m. Okay. And so then that break between 12 and 8, there's the longest break that they have sure. and they don't eat. Sure. Right? But I think that is like that point where people get hungry. Mm -hmm. And then there's another point where people have their, um, they'll have their dinner and then later on post until the night. They get I think those are the two parts where people struggle because like, first of all, I think most people aren't having breakfast, which is wrong. So start having breakfast. Okay, absolutely. But then after that point, I feel like between breakfast and lunch, it's not that big of a deal. Meaning mm -hmm. people don't really snack or need anything during that time. It's just that next window of time between lunch and dinner and then obviously post uh dinner and going to sleep okay tree nuts cashews nothing honey roasted sugar coated jesus christ chocolate cover raisin no okay so you can definitely go to your berries your blueberries uh your raisins your tree okay. nuts like cashews almonds walnuts okay uh, if that's a healthy snack go for it uh, uh green apples any type of fruit uh bananas oranges that's kind of what i would snack let's with. talk about snacks that um that we all eat or normal people eat that we should get rid of or stop eating so what are those anything with sugar right so anything with sugar your chocolate uh anything that's processed muffins um, uh, muffins that, that is sealed that comes in a six pack <laughs> that was made probably six months ago and it's still good that is preservative out like I, I, there's preservatives in there so anything that 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 has that kind of uh, you know Tootsie Roll or uh, uh, so candies right candy candies is gone uh, baked goods that are processed in a package mm -hmm. that have been sitting around like, I'd rather you have a cupcake that was freshly made than right. something that's off the shelf at gotcha. one of the grocery stores. So what do you see people having the most? So we talked about candies, chips, Chips, right? chips, yeah. What else are people eating that are, is Man, bad? What, what are those things, those, those cream pies, those honey buns, I've seen a lot of those. Uh, man. So you, packaged baked goods. Packaged baked goods, packaged okay. treats, stay away from all of those. Okay. Um, honestly, a way I got away from snacking is I chew a lot of gum. Uh, and there's a lot of sugar-free flavored gum. They got Thin Mint, they got, you know, uh, Creme Brulee. I mean, that kills some of the taste buds. Um, so gum is definitely a way to... to Curb your appetite. Yeah, correct. Well, I'll tell you, you know, what helped me a lot was my water intake. I used to, like, drink maybe 24 yeah. to 50 ounces of water in a day. And then I switched and I jumped up to 75 and now I'm at 100 or 100 plus. So most days I'm having at least 100 ounces mm -hmm. of water. And then other times I'll have 100 
and 25. And during that time, I noticed that I eat a lot less because yep. a lot of our hunger we think is hunger, but it's really thirst. Yep. Your body needs something. And I, I'm telling you, no matter how hungry you are, drink eight ounces of water or 16 ounces of water and then wait five minutes and see if you're still hungry. Don't drink water and then immediately go eat something. Eat something. Just drink water, wait five minutes and see. If you're still hungry and you need something, yep. then go eat it. Yep. Let's talk about the only uh, Indian thing that we have on this list. Which is? Uh, point number four. Why don't you tell them what that is? Turmeric. Right. So I recently got introduced to turmeric. Uh, turmeric. What do you mean you recently got introduced to? You're I mean, Indian. I probably it's like eat, in your blood. It's probably in your veins. Me physically adding it to like my milk Fair. or coffee Fair. or my eggs. Yeah. But it's just funny, right? Like things yeah. that our parents, Turmeric. our grandparents, our great grandparents. Or well, where did my dad say, Yeah, I had some turmeric in your thing. And, <laughs> and you're like, no, no, get away from me. Dad, stop. And then so, fast forward a few decades, yeah. and you're like, oh yeah, yeah, I need to put it on absolutely, everything. Absolutely. So what did you put it on um, that you were like, okay, this is not bad? And what did you put it on? And we're like, this is disgusting. Actually, turmeric has no taste in, in it, it, it. It hasn't had any taste yet. Okay. Okay. Um, how much of it are you putting in? Like, if you're having a, a, a coffee, how much of that? So it comes in one of those, you know, those those flip open and 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 kind of like a salt shaker kind of thing. So I'm just drizzling it on top and mixing okay. it in there and drinking it. Now you make me think about shaking like a salt shaker. Yeah. But it's remix. Remix. There you go. That's what happens when you're DJ, yep, right? Like yep. everything's. That's why I saw Soul Shaker. I was just trying to figure out what it was, <laughs> and then Soul Shaker came up. Yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you, little John. Um, so n now, do you know the Hindi word for turmeric? What is it? I don't. <laughs> we gotta look that up. Is it healthy? Is it healthy? No, it's not healthy. What? So you tell me they put turmeric on your face? I don't know. Yeah, 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 definitely. Maybe it is. I'm gonna look that up while. Okay, look Hulley. it up. Holly. Holly. Told you. Google.com. I'll call you your I got you. I'll be your Hindi channel. So, okay, so turmeric's a great tool. Uh, Freddie learned today that it's in Hindi, it's haldi. Haldi. So, on video. I remember my mom always be like, haldi wala dud, right? Like, so you got milk and you mix in the turmeric mm -hmm. and then you have it. Uh, but it definitely had a taste, especially yeah. when I was a kid. I, I thought it did. But that's why I was asking you about how much you put in. Because I think. A tablespoon. Like, yeah. But I, I usually eyeball my, you know, whenever I, I put it on my stuff. No, so. mine was like mixed in. So, like, um, the whole thing turned yellow oh, and no, you can no. see it. I'm like, no. So I think you're saying you're putting a little bit, a pinch, Correct. right? A okay. pinch, yep, yep, yep. So fifth tip of staying healthy uh, is alcohol. Yes. So Are you saying buy alcohol? I, I'm saying, you know, we need to be careful with alcohol, okay. right? Yeah. Um, so if you if you used to drink three times a week before, maybe you're drinking five. Maybe if you yep. drank once in a while at home, you're drinking a couple times a week. Just be careful, right? Limit how often you're doing it and then limit uh, how much you're doing it each Correct. time. Because it's so easy to get yep. carried away and, yep. and say, oh, I don't have to go Tuesday morning. I don't have to go into the office so I can drink more or you know, I can drink every night or whatever it is. Just be careful because uh, don't drink your calories, right? Sure, sure. And, and alcohol actually so, slows the system down, right? With your healthy diet and the training and the work. That's why I can't lose weight. It's the alcohol. Alcohol slows everything. That slows on your liver. Slows on your brain functionality, slows on your metabolism. It's that's what it does. It impairs your judgments. It slows everything down. So everything slows down to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Some of us athletes, we don't drink, we don't have sugar for a very long time because our body is just that clean, right? So if you uh, impair it with things like alcohol, it's just going to slow everything down. So if you're looking to lose the weight, stay with me. I want to thank Freddie. Thank you for coming in thank you. Uh, and, and speaking. To everybody just about all the stuff that's going on in the he's world. gonna have a six pack by the end of this coronavirus buy a six pack, pack. <laughs> buy a we're just talking about saving money <laughs> <laughs> um but that's it we're here with freddie i'm riz uh hashtag dre talks we'll keep coming with these videos for you guys stay safe stay home be good see you later thank you for listening